Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So I hope you're well Pisces and thank you for all the well wishes. I injured my back a couple of weeks ago and I did take some time off to kind of start my recovery but I think it's just going to take a while. So I have to be patient, which is probably not one of my strong points, Pisces. <laughs> See how we go. So let's pull your oracle card. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angel spirits, spirits guides. Message for Pisces, thank you, for the week. What does Pisces need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Financial health coming your way. I really like this picture because you can see, do you see the twists and turns? The fact that it's not a straight road to something flourishing and you know this 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 tree you can see it's almost kind of like surviving on a cliff, cliff edge with harsh conditions um, and yet it manages to bring growth and flourish and thrive so it feels for some of you you've been through a lot of twists and turns to get to some kind of financial health but this is a really good symbol here good message good omen Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Pisces. Yeah, you're being told trust. You're being watched over, guided, but also trust in your own ability. Yeah, don't doubt yourself this week. If you're feeling yourself, doubt yourself. The message is don't. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards and you know by now the first card is the issue or challenge you face, the second card is advice from spirit, the third card is the outcome and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you Pisces, okay. What do we have for Pisces please? Angel Spirits Guides. So I'm just sorting my cushion out. Oh. Message for Pisces, thank you. 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. Message for Pisces, please. Do another shuffle. What's the message that Pisces needs to hear? So I'll do, a, okay, there we go. So we have the two of wands. It's in your challenge position here. So we have the three of wands here, Pisces. The eight of wands, wow, all wands energy, which is all about action, growth, potential success okay what do we have for pisces please angel spirits guides message for our lovely pisces thank you okay so we have the three of cups three of wands we have seven of swords and the Eight of Wands, we have the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Star. Okay. Just give me a moment, Pisces. Okay, so we have... There is definitely financial health coming your way. Trust. You're being told to trust that that is going to happen. I'm going to get one more card for the star. Let's pull one more card for this star. Pull one more card for the star. 
please angel spirits guides for pisces thank you yeah and i have this with i mean i've got the ace of cups as well so the four of swords the ace of cups i'm going to pop that down because i looked at the bottom okay so pisces there is a feeling here that in this kind of situation you don't really know what the future holds um it feels like this is your challenge position here you don't know what the future holds you don't know how something is going to unfold here and certainly there's this energy of i mean And this is a card of celebration, the Three of Cups. It's a card of reaping the harvest. So there's definitely an energy if you don't know how the future holds in terms of reaping your harvest. Definitely an energy of something good coming your way. I mean, the Two of Wands can be to do with choices, um, a crossroad, two paths ahead, you know, that kind of energy, some decision or choice on how you move forward to reap the harvest, to bring some kind of celebration your way. Um, but it feels in this energy, there's just a lack of knowing how something's going to unfold or a lack of knowing what you've been taking action towards, how it's going to unfold. You know, it feels... It just feels kind of like, um, okay, I'm taking action, but, you know, I'm just hoping I'm going in the right direction. And I hope that this leads to me reaping the rewards of my efforts. But at the moment, I don't know how this is going to unfold. You know, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. And it feels that that's the energy that I'm getting here. Because, again, there's a feeling of secretly putting some kind of plan into action keeping your cards close to your chest. And the message is, don't tell anybody, you know. Um, Seven of Swords is a card of you will manifest. There is growth in what you're doing. The Three of Wands, Spirit is telling you that, you know, there is growth coming your way. There is um, something good coming your way. Your ships are coming in. They're not quite there yet, but the message with the Three of Wands is keep on taking action, keep on doing what you're doing. Because even though you probably don't see the reward coming right now, it is coming. It is coming. This is about growth and the beginnings of the first signs of success. You will soon see the first signs of success, what you've been walking towards coming your way. And that's what Spirit is telling you. Very, very good in terms of business, career, that kind of energy three of wands is an expansion energy a progress energy okay i'm beginning to see progress in what i'm doing you know i've got the first signs of success coming my way maybe some feedback or some opportunity or some growth or some success that i'm seeing you know but it's it's it feels you know that you're not seeing it right now and that's the challenge yeah, you might be questioning, you know, am I doing the right thing? And the message is, no, trust, trust. Hello, Pisces. Sorry about that. My disc was full and it was flashing on the camera. So uh, I've kind of like got that all started now anyway. So getting back to your reading. So the Eight of Wands we have as the outcome. We have conversations, movement, positive shifts, something happening suddenly um, this can be linked with opportunity conversations news coming in that bring swift change um, and again it's, it's as a result of what you've been taking action towards there's the shift now the six of cups it can be a card of joy actually finding joy again something that brings you joy but this can also be a card of somebody from the past so it might well be for some of you somewhere you've worked before um somewhere or someone that you have been connected with you know previously 
coming back into your life, bringing some news, conversations, messages that will ultimately bring some kind of shift, change. So maybe a reconnection to somebody, meeting somebody again, out of the blue it feels for some of you. And somebody that you might already know is, is instrumental in bringing this shift, change, positive shift and change for the better. So it feels quite beautiful here. And what they're bringing in is definitely the opportunity, the opportunity. Now, again, something very close to your heart, something that you really want. I mean, the, the Ace of Cups is a new door opening. It's the cup of joy, the beginnings of a happy new start. And it's given to you by God, the divine, the universe. You are the vessel and the universe is pouring love and light into you. You're being told to trust that this new door will open for you. You are being shown love. You are being shown and filled with love and happiness, love and light. Um, but it can be in the form of offers, opportunities, um, creative areas, you know, something that will allow you to express who you are can be to do with creative industries, media, journalism, um, writing, um, you know, culture, entertainment, you know, it's that kind of industries as well. So that might resonate for some of you here, Pisces. And this opportunity, this new beginning is coming your way, restoring some kind of financial health. Now, it says you're being told that you will get the blessing. The path that you're on is the right one. The path that you're on to this Ace of Cups is the right one. So don't doubt yourself, even though there may be some kind of lack of clarity or how something might pan out. Or if you're worrying that you made the wrong choices in a situation, no, this is the right path for you that is leading towards your recovery. It definitely feels. And remember, the star is a sense of renewal. It is divine wish fulfillment, divine blessings, new growth, hope, you know, dream. Stay, stick to the dream, stick to your hope. Um, keep the faith, keep the hope, because there is real optimism ahead and recovery. And it's to do with this new kind of door opening for you, new opportunity. Now, yes, this can be in terms of love. This can be to do with... Um, the beginnings of new happiness, self-love as well, finding happiness again, you know, something that's bringing you joy and happiness, some kind of door opening for you. There can be an element of um, distance to do with this, travel online as well, online opportunities. So again, that might resonate for some of you, but you're being told to trust that what this is, the actions that you're taking, the choices that you've made, you've made the right choices, you've made the right decisions, you are sowing the seeds for the shift, the change to happen in your life. And it's resulting in some kind of, you know, um, wonderful new beginning coming your way. Remember, the Ace of Cups can be an emotional new beginning as well. A feeling of being happy, you know, just happy. Uh, once more, a new phase of being happy. So that's what this shift is bringing into you and it feels really beautiful. I'm going to pull a final card, Pisces. Final message for Pisces, please. Okay. So we have, yes, we have, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the very of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Nice energy. And we have find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you'll have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. <laughs> that might resonate for some of you. But very quickly, there is sudden change coming your way and it's as a result of the actions that you've been taking even though you probably don't see it in this you know you've made some right decisions judgment calls choices to reap the harvest it's coming your way resulting in some kind of conversations that bring shift and a happy new beginning so lovely lovely energy pisces i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you and i will see you next time thank you